You are watching 8 bit days a week, and I'm gonna be playing another old arcade game. This is Thunder Cresta. Oh no, not Thunder. <laughs> Terra Cresta, there you go. Yeah. Maybe you're familiar with the Famicom version of this game? Indeed, this came out. I'm not sure with the NES though, but. Definitely, I know this came out on the Famicom because I have the cartridge, so I'm pretty sure about that. One thing that really stuck with my mind here regarding this game is that is that the music. Hope you can hear it well amid all the explosions and my voice. Now these power-ups actually make you a bit slower, that's the problem. Or is it just me? I do feel slower. And you're bigger, you're a bigger target. Whoa. Well, I guess they're still about the same speed. And you can actually have... Link up all those... Uh, power-ups and you're gonna be one giant ship already firing in a lot of uh, well not a lot of directions but a more wider range at least you know yeah as with the most early uh, shoot em ups from the late 80s It's kind of difficult because you don't have those crazy power-ups that lets you shoot in almost the entire screen. So in essence, even though the later shoot-em-ups are bullet hell, you are actually compensated with the power-ups. Unlike here, may not be bullet hell but it's I feel it's even more difficult because you don't have those uh, crazy power-ups so anyway once again this is Terra Cresta and um, e um, I'd say you can pass this up, unless maybe you have uh, like a nostalgic value to it, such as me. Like uh, I played this on the Famicom, and I enjoy this arcade version because the music sounds better because of the output, of course, of the hardware. But that's it. Um, I feel like I'm playing this game only to listen to the music. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you're watching 8 bit days a week, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.